Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here. Say it with me. Just in time. That's right. Just in time for another campground experiential video. I'm actually going to put two campgrounds into this one video. That's that's the plan. That, that plan may change. Uh, we are at Fayette Lake. And this is Oak Thicket Park, Fayette Lake. Check out this campsite. <laughs> we have water. This lake is not desperately low. Got a great place for Starlink. Now the only the only detractor so far is this is a trail. But it's Sunday. We're here tomorrow. We're here for two nights. Oh, it's not very deep, apparently. I was wondering where I was, where those guys were. This is a power plant lake. Apparently, it's the water's really, really warm. If the wind dies down tomorrow. I'll get to put the, the tuck tick in the water. Let's talk about the campsite. This is this is a lower Colorado River Blanco Blanco Lower Colorado River Authority campground property that is managed by uh, a private vendor. So it's kind of a hybrid site. I think it's thirty thirty five dollars a night. And what we get for $35 a night, besides that, <laughs> we get a, a table. It's actually wheelchair accessible on either end. We have a burn, a, a fire ring, but there is a very, very strict and explicit burn ban. No, no open flames at all. We can use the gas grill. That's it. We do have the ubiquitous, ubiquitous lantern hook. It's a, it's a shorty. I think you're gonna find a common theme there. Asphalt pad, uh, it slopes towards the lake a little bit. Not too much. Front to, to back is fantastic. We are 30, no 50, 30 and water. There we go. We even have a uh, a 15 amp in there it's not a real big campground it's, it's not a big campground at all that's a really really flat site there it runs downhill though there's yappy in the ready pack let's go see some stuff ready pack approved somebody lost a crock <laughs> check this out we are right Right across the way from the fishing dock. But with seeing how these guys are waiting out here, I don't know how how deep this actually is. Is that there out there? Is that a yeah, there's a guy. Fishing. There's two of them out there. Oh, they're, they're they're using a net. Are they allowed to do that? Uh-huh. They can use a cast net to capture if there's tilapia in the water or if they are after bait fish i'm kind of thinking there's probably tilapia in this body of water because it's extremely warm thanks to the power plant over there uh, and when we when fairfield lake the power the power plant was still going there there were a lot of guys that the, the tilapia population was very health, healthy in the these guys would come out with their cast nets and do what he's doing. I don't know what happened to his partner. So you're not going to be fishing straight down off this dock. It's only about 12 inches deep right there. So you'll be casting out. Okay, we need to go do the Dude RV shower check. And you're going to find that interesting, I assure you. Oak Thicket Park. Fayette Lake has the most interesting 
restroom facilities that I've been in in a while. And it's because it's like short. So this is eye level for me. <laughs> Shower works pretty good though. Plenty of hot water, plenty of pressure. They do have a handicap, but they put the bench out here and not in here. So, it's, not, it's very clean. It's too short. Everything's short. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Now, the private vendor here has has set up some really, uh, it's, this is a similar setup to Bastrop Lake and the, the, the park on the south side where they had really neat cabins right on the water. So this is actually two cabins, 105 and 106, the duplex. And then there's three, four in that building. And then there's, three more buildings but look at your 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 front look at your your porch view i mean you can't get much better than that for a a sunset view Man, that's all right. Let's go see some more stuff. Satellite. I don't know. I don't know if it's dish or or what, but you've got some tea. If you get tired of looking at that, I guess you can go watch TV. One oh nine and one ten. So if I, if I was going to be renting a cabin, this would be it. I guess it's just 109. I'm not sure. I thought it was two. I guess it's one. But look at that. Oh, man, oh, man. A little cove right there blocking from the wind. I like that. All right. Let's go see some more uh, Oak Thicket stuff. If you're planning a trip to Oak Thicket Park and you don't have an RV, you don't want to sleep in a tent, and you don't want to rent a cabin, then you can get into a screened shelter. And their screen shelters, they're kind of fancy. We can't get in because they got it locked. But check it out, you got four bunks. You're up off the ground, so it's not it's not concrete, but it looks like the bugs might be able to come and visit. There's six of these cabins. Screen shelters, I mean. They have six screen shelters with ceiling fans. That'd be perfect for this time of year. All right, let's go see some day use stuff. My boat ramp fans are gonna be so excited. I'm so excited. We actually have a boat ramp with water. <laughs> what a novel concept. There's even boat slips on the boat dock here. A little protected harbor to do your boating stuff. I think there's another fishing dock. So let's go check that out. This looks like a pretty shallow lake. So we are at the day use area fishing dock. And we'll see how far, how fast the water goes deep with this guy walking right here. Oh. There's another park on that side. 
that's why that's why there's gonna be one video for for the lake now if you have a group of folks you want to get together for a family reunion or something got a group pavilion over there with a metal roof some picnic tables underneath a couple of cookers volleyball net but this is your day use area at oak thicket park fayette lake we're running out of stuff to look at wait, wait i gotta find some more stuff i have traveled forth i have journeyed forth i have left the building no i actually left oak thicket park man See if I can find a place outside of the wind. The wind is really blowing over here. I am at Park Prairie Park. Park Prairie Park. That's a lot of parks. But anyway, it's not a real big property. It used to be a day use facility. And now they've, they've got some RV campsites. But we're going to run around and see the stuff here. There's a trail that goes from one park to the next. That's only three miles. And it's three miles to drive. So rather than risking dead batteries and all that stuff, I brought white lightning and the, the, the e-bike. And we're going to go see Park Prairie Park. And then we'll do a virtual tour. This is cool. I, I, I just think this is so freaking cool. Look at this big old oak tree. We're in the camping loop. They've got... I don't know, 14, 15 sites. I have, it, I have the one pull through right here underneath this beautiful oak tree. As you can see, all the, the RV sites are white rock with a wood border. Pretty much your standard camping thing. But you're going to struggle because there's no lantern hook. So you can't camp in style. Let's go see a waterside site. What a beautiful sunrise site. That's that's east. So we're gonna, that's where your sun is going to come up. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the gravel, but at least this is packed down nice and tight. Make sure you use your wheel chocks cuz you sure don't want to keep going. This is a full connection site. He said the full connections were 50, I think he said 50, 55, something like that. Right next door, check this out. You can rent a tiny house on the water. Ooh, this wind is blowing today. Two air conditioners and a patio looking out on the lake. You could even bring a your friend's RV with you. Camp right next door. All right, let's go see a couple more things. Let's go see some more stuff. Here's a tough, a tough decision. Here's a tough decision. What's more important to you? Flat level concrete or a big shade tree? So you have a handicap site here, flat level concrete, and you have a great big shade tree right here. This would be my preferred site right here. I like this tree better than I do that other tree. Of course, I don't know that I would want to camp under this tree if we had a big storm coming, but it looks like it's been here a while. We need to do a shower check. My shower right there. So we're we're in the restroom facility. They have four showers. And they'll all probably look just like this. Yep. I sure like this better than the ones on the other side of the lake. I don't, I don't 
get it. Man, it's windy out here. Really got the windy. My boat rent friend fans will be happy to know there's a, a a great boat ramp with water at the end. As well as the courtesy dock with multiple places to dock boats. Alright. We need to go see a fishing dock. I think this is the better fishing dock. I think this is better than the one over at Oak Thicket Park. I don't know because I've not done any fishing here, but it looks like it might be in deeper water. It's hard to tell. Water, water's very clear. At least it, it is when you look toward the, up toward shore. All right. I'm gonna go do a, a, gotta go do a virtual tour. That's what I'm trying to say. Just go do a virtual tour of Prairie Creek, Prairie Park, Park Prairie Park. Let's go do a virtual tour of Park Prairie Park. Good morning from Fayette Lake, Oak Grove Park. It's a bit cool this morning. Thought the steam coming off the water was just really picturesque. We like this little campground and it's been it's been peaceful there's only four of us camping here that's where it's tuesday end of august so that's not surprising that it's peaceful yet when i was touring the other park park prairie park it's actually over there i had a had a conversation with the a gate attendant who turned out to be the general manager the new general manager for both parks and he was telling me the fishing is not as good as it once was. Uh, since the tilapia were introduced, the bass population has diminished. He didn't really want to speculate why, but I can speculate for him. So when you introduce tilapia, they, they're vegetarian fish. They eat all the cover so the so bass and little fingerlings, they don't have any place to hide. But that's not the only, the only issue. The other issue is when you introduce the tilapia, they, you can't catch them on a hook. So they, and there's no predators that eat them. So they become an overwhelmingly large population. And then you have the people coming in to catch them, who are probably the same ones that introduced them to the water, but they use cast nets uh, and Sunday when we got here, there were about six guys, maybe more. And yesterday there were several guys, especially late in the day. They're, they're wading out as deep as they can go and they're using the cast nets to catch fish, which that's legal for the tilapia. Any game fish, bass, crappie, catfish, you cannot keep them if you catch them in a cast net. But unless someone's there policing the people using the cast net, odds are pretty good when they catch a game fish, they keep it too. And that is going to affect the fish population. So I, I, have, I didn't do any fishing. There's some guys out fishing this morning. I haven't talked to any of them 
but from what a couple of people that I've talked to here have said, the, the lake is not as good a fishing lake as it was prior to the tilapia. So there, we got that out of the way. Now, the power plant is not, it's not a loud one like the one up at Martin Creek. Or it's not as close or something, I don't know. This is a very peaceful campground. It, it, late, it, during the day, you can hear traffic on the, the county, the, the farm to market. During the day, you can hear traffic out on the farm to market. After dark, it gets quiet. We slept very peacefully. I did have a visit from a raccoon last night. I was eating peanuts in the hole and putting my holes in a trash bag. There was a and then I picked up litter around the campsite uh, and I left that sitting out. The raccoons, <laughs> I guess they were frustrated. They didn't scatter the trash, they just turned it over and looked at it. Hey, he didn't leave us any nuts. We're done here at Fayette Lake, Oak Grove Campground. We really like it. I think this would be an excellent destination. No, no questions about that as well as a really nice waypoint stop. Either side of the lake would be great for a, spending the night or two as you make your way east and west across Texas, even north and south. It's a good place to, good place to camp in your RV. We like it. Come see Fayette Lake. I only wish it hadn't have been so windy the two days we were here. It was too windy to put the kayak on the water. But this morning, whew, if we weren't leaving, this would be a good morning to do it. Okay, so we're done. We're headed over to Stephen F. Austin State Park. We're returning. We've, we've been there once before. But yep, he's got business in Houston and I need to do, I need to shoot you an Insta360 video of Stephen F. Austin State Park. So we're headed there next. And beyond that, it's just up in the air. If you found some value in this little video, in this production, if you found something of interest, please click on that thumbs up. And if you've not, you know, it's surprising to look at my metrics and see that about 95% of everyone that watches my, watches my video, 95% of you are not subscribed. So if you just click on that subscribe button down there, things would really be great with the channel. They're good now. They'll be even better when you click that subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, we, we do appreciate it. That's why we get to come see places like this. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, we are we are most grateful for your generosity. Thank you so very much. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?